What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optobotomus finished with another video review. And on today's episode, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Many of us collectors love displaying our figures. And one really great way to enhance your display is with backdrops. And I have used backdrops for a long time. Uh, bringing this in, you can see this is one of the Toy Hacks ones that I have used kind of like this yeah, rooftop sort of thing. I use this currently right now for my Daredevil display. But uh, Toy Hacks has been, or Toy Stages, no, I think they changed the name, has been my go-to for a long, long time. Well, I recently came across a new guy, and I sent him a message because I wanted to create a different look for my 1-6 scale Avenger figures. When Infinity War came out, there was some amazing poster art that was released that kind of took the colors of the different Infinity Stones and matched them up with different characters from the Avengers universe. You know, Red had the group with uh, Tony Stark, uh, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange. The yellow had Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Blue had the Winter Soldier, or Bucky, and Captain America, and so on. And I loved those posters. So when I contacted him, I said, can you take those and create backdrops with them? And the answer was absolutely. All I needed to do was find high resolution images, send them to him, and he was able to print them very easily. And this is what he was able to create. Uh, now, these are designed to fit in details. So uh, you can see just how big they are. But uh, setting that there, I mean, that looks amazing. One thing that I'm absolutely blown away by is the quality on here. If you look, I mean, this is a gorgeous recreation of the image. And you got that Avenger A, you got Wong, Peter Parker, Doctor Strange, obviously Tony Stark. Uh, I love how the arc reactor here has a little bit of a blue hint to it. Now, one thing that is very different, I want to set these off to the back a little bit more, is that I wasn't necessarily sure how these were going to be. I thought they were going to be very similar to the uh, the toy hack ones which are still absolutely terrific and i love them uh, but as you can see this is just basically cardstock uh, it's great quality the image that's printed on here is really well done one thing about this is that uh, setting this there is that they come with like this slight bend on them so that when you put this against the very back of the wall these have to be bended around and they kind of cut off the back corners of that cube in a detail and it kind of actually takes away some of the display space but you can see that these are actually bigger when you put it in the back here they're longer and then even uh, well i guess i could have done that uh even actually a little bit shorter than the new ones that i got from backdrops and basis one thing though that is a huge difference is the the thickness here again i gotta get uh, iron man you, you go you go over there iron man you go over there peter parker uh but you can see what i'm talking about this is the uh, the toy hacks one uh, just the standard card stock let me put that there you can see the card stock for it hopefully and then this the new one is super thick foam uh it's like foam board but i'm trying to squeeze this and it doesn't like squeeze in at all uh so that is amazing to me that this has such a, a thickness to it i wasn't expecting it to be that thick i mean this is i mean that's the card basically this is heavy heavy duty foam i mean this is legit and i think it looks stellar now uh bringing back tony and peter parker obviously these are the ones that are going to be displayed with this backdrop again that's going to go all the way in the back it's not going to cut off the edges which i think is amazing but i think that looks great now i did get several of these because i have all of these figures from the infinity war so this is the iron man backdrop up next is kind of uh, I guess the, the Wakanda one, maybe you could kind of say that. You look at it, it's the green Infinity Stone. You got the Hulk right there. You I forgot her name. Uh, that's like Black Panther's main general, uh, sort. but you got Black Panther. And then, of course, you have the Black Widow. And again, gorgeous 
a recreation of the image. Uh, it's so amazing how it looks. Bringing in another one that I absolutely love the color for. I mean, the purple on this is spectacular. You have, obviously, Star-Lord. You have Thor, Gamora, Drax, Rocket Raccoon, Groot right there. Again, gorgeous purple color. Great detail with the image there. And it just screams amazing. I, I love that. I mean, those posters were works of art. I, and I think that this has been done beautifully. Now, they haven't scaled down a little bit from what the actual images are, but they work really good. They didn't, he didn't cut off really much. Uh, here's the Captain America one. You can see Captain America, you got Bucky, you got Shuri, uh, Nebula, and Mantis back there. Bright blue to replicate the blue Infinity Stone. And again, putting that there, obviously that's not who I'm gonna have in front of this backdrop, but you can just see how cool it's gonna look. And then for the final one, with these uh, Infinity War sort of things. Here we have basically the Mind Stone, and then you can see you got War Machine, Falcon, Vision, and Scarlet Witch. And again, absolutely gorgeous recreations on here. Like I said, he took the images that I supplied him, put them on here. As long as they're high resolution images, I think you can pretty much do anything that you want. Uh, again, really thick foam board style i mean absolutely amazing and then the back just is a uh, white oh wow that's very very white look it all disappears whoop, whoop. that's kind of funny but yeah so those were all the ones that i got but i do have another display of just my avengers which are from the original team that being iron man captain america thor hulk hawkeye and the black widow that's a whole separate display than my Infinity War display that I'm setting up. So I wanted to get another one. And he had this. Uh, and again, this looks absolutely terrific. Rusted looks really cool. Almost looks like it would be a little bit better with like an Age of Ultron display. But I think it looks amazing. Great detail in the back. I don't know where he got this image from. But that is super spectacular. Just really blown away by the overall uh, quality that these are like i said i did not know what really to expect in, in, in terms of uh, the the quality or the the thickness of the card any of that i mean i'm just blown away by it and honestly i was a little bit set back because these are about ten dollars more per backdrop than those toy hacks ones so each individual one costs about 35 dollars that original price really did kind of put me back because I'm like, oh, well, you know, I paid $25 for each of the uh, the toy hack ones. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. But then in getting these, like I said, the quality just has blown me away that I am absolutely OK with the increase in the cost. These really do look great and definitely help to, you know, pull out a display to make it look cool. So what better way to articulate that than take these, put them on my display, and show them to you right now. And here is just my general Iron Man display. Uh, you can see all my figures basically sprawled out, hanging out, looking really cool. But the ultimate is the display for uh, my Infinity War figures. So coming in now to take a look at those this is what we have as you can see gorgeous gorgeous backdrops in there now all the way around they look amazing I quite haven't figured out how I want to get them all kind of positioned in there uh, which characters in there because some of them aren't really here I mean some of them we don't have figures for like for example we don't have uh, Shuri or, or uh, the guard person. So looking at these, I mean, that is absolutely terrific. I, I can't wait to get a bigger Groot to go along with that. But uh, the only one that is a little bit kind of crowded is my Avengers one. You can kind of see it there in the back. You can also kind of see me in the back, but because of a uh, Hulk, it kind of takes up all the space for it. And then here we go with these guys. These are the ones that I think they're the only ones that I have all of them in there. But uh, 
you can see I still use the toy hacks ones. I think that that's a nice one for the toy hacks, but you can see how that kind of wraps around the edges. This goes all the way to the back, which I think is just much, much better uh, for display option, uh, covering just the back of the actual uh, case, I think is the best way to do it. And the thing that's really nice coming around here to the side, uh, what I love is that the uh, actual board covers up, you can kind of, it's hard to kind of see, but like right there is the uh, gray bar. Like, so this piece, this gray bar, there's another one of those on the back. This goes in front of it, which hides it very, very nicely. I haven't fixed all of them. Um, I'm trying to see like that one there in the back. You can see, oops, sorry. You can see the other uh, gray bar hanging out there, but all the other ones, I went through and fixed it. But that is absolutely spectacular in terms of a, a, a general display. Uh, I mean, I'm really quite happy with how that turned out. Like I said, backdrops and bases on Facebook. I believe that they really, he, he could take any image that you uh, send to him and pretty much create whatever you want. I was specific and that's the, the, the display that I wanted and I think that he nailed it perfectly. They are a little bit more expensive, but as I said, I really do feel that the quality is there. It's very thick cardstock. The image that's printed on there is high quality. The backdrop is, I mean, there's a lot of specifications on there. They're not going to fade. It's actually put right on there or something so that the image is gonna stay crisp on there pretty much forever. It's not gonna fade over time. And it's UV protected. So if, if you have lights or anything like that uh, from the sun that's gonna be going through there, that's gonna protect it very nicely. But I think that that looks gorgeous. I cannot recommend these enough. If you have a custom display, like what I have, these really do help to just add some depth to it. I gotta get some more for uh, some of my other figures. Uh, you come down, oh no, you come down here and I got some other figures down here that don't have anything. So really need to add a few more to it. Uh, I just think it would look that much better to be totally honest. So again, uh, Facebook, it's uh, backdrops and bases. Send him a message if you have any requests. He's very easy to work with. Uh, he knew exactly what I wanted. He sent me layouts and let me see how they would basically look. I went ahead, I uh, told him, yes, let's do it. When he was done, he showed me them all in a case so I knew how they looked before I got them. Uh, sent them out and they are coming from the UK so they will take a little bit longer. But in general, I am super pleased. So again, Thanks for watching, guys. That's about it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever, it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.